Hey, what's going on guys? This is the IT Ranger and today we'll be making our sixth tutorial of Java programming. Uh, at our last tutorial, we talked about, um, well, we actually programmed to have a GUI or a graphical user interface and have a background, a blue background, which is pretty cool. Um, right now we're really working on basic um, things in Java. My first tutorial is just like one of the the, the first things you will learn in Java, which is uh, typical for like a lot of programming languages. When you're learning programming languages, majority of the time, the first thing you're going to learn is a Hello World program. And so basically our introduction, our first um, program was actually our Hello program. But I, I just decided to change it up a little bit just to, you know, be outside the normal, you know, be out, think outside the box, you know. <laughs> so today we'll actually be making a GUI. Um, we'll actually be extending the project that we did um, in my last tutorial and we'll actually be uh, making the background or making a different color background and learning how to make different panels in the background to hold different objects all right so let's go ahead and get started so what you want to do is um, you want to go ahead and open up the our project if you go over to your package explorer and if you're if you don't have your um, package explorer in Eclipse um, I'll show you how to navigate to it real quick so what you want to do is, anytime you're looking for a panel or anything like that to display in um, Eclipse, just go up to Window, and then you go up to Open Perspective, and, well, you can do Show View, or Open Perspective, but Show View, which will allow you to do Show the Console, which we're already showing right here. But we wanted to look at Package Explorer, which will let us look at all our actual programs that we did, or that you did, too. So go ahead and do um, Package Explorer, and make sure you navigate your... Um, what you want to do is when you're programming, you want to make sure all your uh, programs are being saved in the right workspace. So your workspace is basically a folder that holds all of your um, your files and your source codes. So you want to make sure you're going to this um, the same workspace every time you open up Eclipse to make sure your programs load correctly and are in there inside of the Eclipse so you can actually work with them. So um, with all that said, let's go ahead and open up a uh, GUI color, which we made in my last tutorial. And if you didn't, go back and check that out and, you know, play catch up. <laughs> so, um, go, ahead, um, go ahead and open up GUI Color. And so, um, as we did last time, we actually uh, made a GUI with a blue background. All right. So, what today we'll be doing is we'll actually be learning how to make a GUI with uh, different panels or different background colors. All right. So, we pretty much already have the main, the meat of our program, which we, which we need. Um, the meat of our program was, you know, the, the, the GUI itself and just the one background. So what we want to do is um, we want to set this uh, J panel, uh, panel background. Let's call this uh, J panel. Let's call this J panel uh, one. Actually, you know what? Just to make things um, things a little bit better, what we're going to do is we're actually going to make a new uh, project. So let's go to file, new. Well, better yet, no. Let's just stay here. So um, what you want to do is panel, change uh, panel to panel one, because this is what we're going to do is today, this is not going to be our only panel. If we just wanted one panel in the background, that would actually just be one panel and let us set the background. But today, we actually want to make the background um, different colors or like checkered. So what we want to do is, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually call this J panel one, because this is going to be our first panel, and just change this to panel one. Change this to panel one. All right, there we go. So what we just did is we just set the panel one. We just changed the name of the panel, the J panel to panel one. All right. So the next thing we need to do is um we actually need to make a another J panel. So as a matter of fact, let's just do this. Let's go ahead and erase all of this, and let's start right here. So just highlight all that and just erase all that. So right here we have our first J panel. And what we want to do is we actually want to set the background of this J panel to white. So let's go ahead and if you remember my last tutorial, how I told you to do it. What you want to do is you want to do panel one dot and then uh, set background right there. Set background and we're going to do um, capital C color and set it to white because we want to make it. Let's make it checkerboard. Let's make a checkerboard, a white and black checkerboard. So we're going to set this one to white and let's go ahead and end that line of code with the semicolon and there we go. All right. So let's do the same thing. We need to do the same thing twice. 
well actually four times because we want to make a checkerboard we're going to have four checkers displayed in our GUI with white and black opposite each other so let's go ahead and do um, J panel J panel panel oh, sorry panel 2 equals and equals new J panel and parentheses and end it all right so what we just did is we just we just made a new J panel or a new panel inside of the GUI which we're going to be displaying another color so in this one we need to set the background to black since we're doing a black and white checkerboard let's do panel two dot set and what dot, the dot is the dot is actually a, um it's a, a operator or a statement operator what it does is it, it um, conjoins it lets you know that you want to do panel two what it's actually saying is you want to do panel two and under panel two you want to set the background for panel two to a color so that's really what the period does um, and it does the same thing for system dot out when we do a system dot out program it does system dot out which is just telling the system to actually um, under the system is want the system to print out and to or actually to display out whatever is in the parentheses or whatever you wanted to say so with that being said let's go ahead and do back ground and let's set the background to black color dot and let's do black and end it all right so we just did our, our, our second panel so we have three more two more to go so let's do another j panel let's do another j panel and let's do panel equals J panel panel three equals new J panel parentheses and just take a shortcut sometimes with these things you can actually copy and paste and just change the um, panel but you know just to show you the professional way let's do let's do it professionally because you know IT Ranger always keep it professional so panel three dot set background background and let's set it to uh, white well actually let's just be just let's be different let's just set it to gray let's set it to gray set it to gray so we just set our third background or our, our third panel to gray and we have one more to go so let's do panel panel four equals new j panel parentheses and bam all right so next thing we do is let's go ahead and set the background for that panel four panel four what well, what am I doing panel four dot set background and let's set this background to black let's set this background to actually hmm let's just set it to white all right, so we just set the background for our first panel, our, our fourth panel. So now what we need to do is we actually need to, um, like we did in my last tutorial, we need to tell the, we need to actually tell the GUI or tell the, the, the GUI to actually get the content or get the panels, which would be a place right here. So with that, in my last tutorial, I kind of broke down what that is. And so you can just go check that out if you're, um, you're just coming in for telling the tutorial. So um, let's do container pane, which is the container is actually the whole square or or a rectangle inside of the GUI that holds objects inside of the container. So we want to tell we want to tell the GUI to actually display its container or get the container to display all these colors in the panel. If you get what I'm saying, I think I made that kind of simple. Yeah. So um, it's kind of self-explanatory in a way, um, but you know, so the container is like a container, like a, a something that you put food in or whatever, like a container. And then inside of the container, you can put objects in it. You can put uh, fruit, you can put uh, leftovers, whatever you want to put in there. You can put whatever in there. So it's kind of the same way a container works inside of a GUI. So let's do container pane equals, um, let's do the GUI dot get content pane. And with that, what we just told the Java to do, we just told it to get the content or the pane. All you see the panels right here, the pane one, set background, pane two, set background, panel three. We just told it to get that content and put it inside of the container. 
So um, the next thing we need to do is we need to set the, the grid layout. And so when you're working with a GUI and you want to have, um, by default, it automatically sets to just um, a one by one background, which is sets one background. But today what we want to do is we actually want to have the background to be checkered. So we actually need to tell the pane to be in a, a, a grid layout, a grid layout displaying um, different different colors or different boxes. And the grid layout basically just has like uh, four boxes. You can do like a two by two, which is, um, which will have two boxes up top and two boxes at the bottom. And you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. So let's do um, pane dot pane dot set layout, and let's do dot set layout, and then we're gonna do a uh, new grid layout. So it's set layout. We're telling the pane to set a layout, and we're gonna do parentheses, which we have new. And we're gonna do new, and then we do new layout. So we do new, and then grid layout. All right. So we just pulled the uh, Java to do our grid layout, and we're gonna tell this what this what the new grid layout, grid layout is, and just put two, comma two, and that's basically telling it to be two by two. All right. So let's just lowercase this, lowercase that. And so we just told the um, the pane to set the layout to a new grid layout. And what the new grid grid layout is, we basically told it what we wanted it to be. We wanted it to be two by two, two boxes up top and two boxes at the bottom. Let's go ahead and end that, end that, and enter. All right. So now, next thing we gotta do is we need to tell the pane or the container pane inside of the container. We need to tell it to add each uh, panel. So um, let's do pane dot add and Let's do panel one to start with. Panel one. And you can kind of um, copy and paste, like I said, but we want to do it the professional way. And that's this is the professional way, typing everything out to make sure there's no errors. And pane two, panel two, and put this here, end it. And then we want to do pane, add, and let's do add panel three. Let's end that. And last but not least, pane dot add and panel four. Oh. Panel four. All right. Um, so now we need to set the visibility to true so we can actually see the um, the program or see the GUI. So let's do the GUI dot set visible. And we're going to set this to, um, this is going to be a Boolean. Boolean, it basically tests to see if it's true or false. And we're basically going to set this to true because we want it to be true. So we really don't want it to be an if or else because we want it to be true at all times. So let's do true and end it. So we just made a GUI. We just programmed or wrote the code for a GUI to actually display um, to actually display a, back, a checkered background. So let's go ahead and run it. Go up here and match the green arrow. Run GUI. And let's run it and let's go ahead and save it and let's see and there we go so as you see here we have our background we have um the white checker as we said here at the first one the white and then we have the black beside it and then beside that we have the gray the gray and then beside the gray we have the white so there you go everybody we just learned how to program um a gui with color and we extended our last tutorial to actually make this a checkered background. So thank you guys for watching and I hope you all enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, I'll catch you guys next time. All right. See you later, guys.